and that is what we should do. So I go straight to it without wasting your time. This was something quoted to have been said by late Alak Isa Amodu Bello, GCOM, Sadamia of Sokoto and Premier of Northern Nigeria. He said, there are two reasons behind what people call my generosity. He is acknowledging the fact that he was very generous. But he now wants us to have an inkling into why he was that generous, which is the area I want us to look at critically and invite. He said, firstly, I am a Muslim. That happens to be one of the factors why he was generous, because he was a Muslim. He went further and said, and generosity and joined on all believers by Islam. So it is mandatory. You don't have a choice. It is something that Islam says you must do. It is a must. It's not that if you like, it's no option there. You can't pick and choose. It is something that is mandatory upon you. Once Allah bestowed you with those resources, that you should help others, help the society, and help the growth of Islam. He went further. Secondly, I am also a realist. I happen to know that holding earthly wealth is meaningless in so far as a millionaire will not, when he dies, be buried with his millions. This is what Sir Ahmad Bilu said. If you have one trillion naira when you die as a Muslim, they just put you in the mat and there you go. Six feet, and that's the end. Allah. Everything you have, you leave it behind. So the only thing that is left for you is the good deed that you have done while on that. Let me put it with you. I prefer to share the little I have with those who have none at all in the belief that God, whose command I just obey, will reward me in the next world. Which means he believed what he was doing was an investment for a year after. <laughs> Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. 